Hey guys, welcome back. BGC Gear here. We're back with the weekly Q and A. Well, hopefully weekly. Getting back into weekly. This is season three, episode eight. Getting right into the questions. The first one comes from Frost Freak One Two Three, and they say for the next Q and A, answer if you'll get an iOS device. Drum roll, please. Nope. Yeah, I mean, maybe if somebody to... was willing to, or as a group, you guys were willing to pay us enough money directly to buy one for those purposes, but... Yeah, and I'm not even going to ask, at the rate we're making with the ad revenue now, it'll probably take us about two years to get the latest iDevice to be able to play around with it, and just totally not worth it. Yeah. So there we go. Next question comes from Alessio Risotto, and they say, please make another credit glitch. Yeah, I... I that's not how it works um but we will be happy the next time we are aware of a, an effective safe glitch to post it and maybe do a little bit of analysis to figure out the best way to take advantage of it yeah so there you go well i want to go back to the ios thing too part of me thinks even if it wasn't for the price i don't know that i'd necessarily even take an ios device because there's something about the principle of it's it's one thing to have proprietary charging cables or um whatever the plug-in cables yeah. that, are, that are different but to do it to your own users is a bit of a dick move see i don't i don't have any reservations about that if if you guys were crowdfunded an ios device for, for us i would happily take it all right so sorry about that moving right around there we go next question comes from mustafa kari and they say how are all your characters max augmented all right, so we already answered in the comments, but I wanted to add something. So our answer in the comments originally was not only do we post videos about glitches, but we also exploit them as efficiently as possible before they're patched. So when the last laugh ticket glitch was still working, we farmed Survivor like crazy until it was patched. Yeah, so that was a ton, and we, we banked like a lot of like yeah. resources. We, we stockpiled as many uh, augments as possible, and we we're also very judicious with how we spend them. Right. So we, at the time were even while the glitch was present still kind of hesitant to actually augment anybody so right until you know who who is the has the best potential yeah so we were on. we were sitting on a ton of augments that we hadn't yeah. even used so that when we started using them and especially when we needed them for videos we could kind of just have enough right so and the other thing too is it's funny and this is not really answering your question anymore but it, it made me think that the glitches it's almost like a microcosm of the game itself right in the time when we're waiting for updates we always hear in the forums at least a lot of people complaining about you know the game is dead forget it it's been abandoned by the developers yeah but up until now knock on wood there's still updates and new content so in the time where there aren't any glitches or working glitches we hear a lot of people complain about everything being patched you know forever and ever and yet stuff still comes up because this is the latest credit glitch that lasted for probably the shortest amount of time but it was still there yeah I and mean, we're talking years after and the game was released yeah and i mean technically it is still there for anybody who hasn't updated there's no loss of content there's nothing being walled off for people who are still using the glitch right 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 so it's it's still there as long as you don't update or have auto updates on yeah yeah so there we go the next question comes from who's uh and then an exclamation point and they say this game is and then it's a uh, a turd yeah it's an expletive and they say play injustice 2 we did we got banned that's the answer to that question yeah their their response time is awful it's been what four weeks now and counting where I, i'm not saying that we absolutely should get our account back well we should but what I'm saying is, I don't expect that to happen, but I expect at least a response. And it's been four weeks, so clearly the support isn't there. Uh, because it's tied into our Google Play account, it's not like we can just start a new account anyways. And I, I honestly, I'm disinclined to, because if anything, I think Injustice 2 is, is in some ways just crappier. We played Injustice 2, we didn't like it that much, we preferred playing Injustice 1, and then we got banned and couldn't get unbanned. So the, the direct criticisms, though, of the game, I think, are fair, too, because when you've got an arena cycle that's twice a day, so that if you're not playing a lot, in every 12-hour cycle, you're falling behind, and it puts you out of the running for not even good rewards, but decent rewards, and how it's the progress is really limited by how much you're willing to 
pay, especially so far. I mean, I, I want to say the early going, but it's been a few months now. And even after a few months, if you haven't paid for a bunch of content, mm -hmm. you're working at a huge disadvantage. Um, or if you're willing to play literally hours a day in every 12 hour cycle, yeah, totally not worth it. I mean, you can see by some of the changes they're making, right? By decreasing the cost of the resource missions, that they're they're trying to address some of the problems. But to me, Injustice: Gods Among Us is a mature game. It's got huge advantages, including being able to play offline. Yeah. And I, I appreciate the nuances of it more, being able to pick a team instead of being stuck with whatever team you've got. Oh, one other thing too. One thing that people say is an advantage is that you know all the characters are playable. But to me, in some ways, that's some of it is a bit of a disadvantage because there's Superman. all of them can do the same combo basically. Yeah. Um, and it ends up being just you know with very superficial differences, almost like a reskin of the same sort of basic fundamental character and they've got you know a little bit of different specials different animations but i don't know i still feel like injustice gods among us even without the banning is is a better game yeah i mean when you take away their um passives basically every character boils down to stat differences in mm -hmm. their specials and all their attacks when you take away the passives and the gears but when you add those back in, it adds a lot of richness. And the, the, the gears don't really work the same way in Injustice 2, so you lose that entire level of, like, kind of customizable complexity, mm -hmm. too. So, there we go. The next question comes from John House, and I guess this isn't really a question, this is more of a comment, but... Um, they say, It sure would be nice if Netherrealm did something about these a-holes. I haven't been able to get through an epic battle in weeks. It's completely ruined online play. Um, we, we haven't actually found that. Um, I guess what well, the first part is, you can take a look at the team that we've got, our high-level team that's meant to attract hackers and our strategy for, for winning against them. I mean, I, 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 I get your frustration. It's not fun to play against a team that is hard because it, they're cheating. Yeah, it, I think any kind of competition, I feel frustrated. I don't need to win every time. I need to feel competitive. Yeah, and, and it is really unfair to have people essentially not playing by the same rules as you are, right? Right, right. But um, you could also, if it's if it's that bad, I know it feels like you're kind of letting them win if you change the way that you play. But consider playing some some different teams. Like if you look at during our Q and A videos, right, the multiplayer team that we play, it's a different team. This is a this is kind of a lower stat, like mm -hmm. grinding team, and we don't run into the hackers the same way. Yep. And the lower you get, the uh. The, the less likely you're to run into anybody. And I think in the last few fights anyways, you're still hitting 5,000 battle points. Yeah. So it's not like it's that far off the, the top. It's close enough that it's it's the, there's grinding value in it. They're, they're good farming teams. Yeah, because 5,000 battle points was the max when Injustice the Update 2.0 was reached for Injustice, the higher stat characters at that time we're right. reaching 5,000 battle points. Right. And so there's a huge range now of basically the good people way, way, way back then and the good right. all the way up to the good people now are still able to reach 5,000 battle points at least in their later battles. Right. Yeah, and I'm not... A, I, I guess I'm... I understand why people are saying just quit the game if you face them, if you're losing. And I guess that's fair because you don't want to give them points. Yeah. But I also recognize that if you're not fighting those last fights in the latter five or seven ladder you're giving up a lot of bonus points mm -hmm. which absolutely is frustrating when you're trying to get the good stuff especially now that they've added more mp reward content yeah so yeah you know what and, and we've got a lot of suggestions for different things you can try any one of the mp teams that we've played before i think still have uh legit playability but the difference really is that you need to um plan a little bit about the new kind of gear that can stall the fights a lot more yeah for sure so there you go that's it for this week Thank and well oh. well we'll let the fights play out because we don't want to cut off the content we'll finish the ultimate ladder but um Superman. yeah thank you guys for watching we'll see you next time komoda wonder woman
begin. <laughs> Send this quick. Wonder Woman, Batman, Superman. Begin. Ha <laughs> <laughs> 